Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to insert an image into Microsoft Word. So generally you're working on your home tab in the ribbon here. Uh, you want to move over to the insert tab and then you want to click on pictures. Just toward the left there. Now uh, this right now is going to the correct folder on my system but if uh, you need to browse to find the image uh, you can scroll up and down here and on the left hand side you'll find access to uh, the different areas on your computer so you can choose the right drive or library etc and find what you're looking for so uh, now you can either double click on the image that you want or click on it once and then click insert and the image will insert into the document now um, it's a large image, so it, is, it has come in uh, filling the whole page, right? And so Word will uh, sort of intelligently shrink it down to fit within the margins if it finds that, uh, you know, if that it's too large for the margins. Uh, it'll go that far, but it won't make it any smaller for you. And, of course, you may not want the image to completely fill the page. So let's right-click on the image and click on picture here and that gets us our format picture options now um, the tab that you land on has various options that uh, in my experience you'll seldom use but uh, if you do need to adjust the bright brightness or contrast or uh, tweak the color options you know make it a grayscale for example or black and white uh, or wash out if you're trying to do a watermark type image or if you need to do a little bit of cropping, you can do that here. But honestly, I would suggest uh, doing those kinds of edits in an image editing software prior to importing it into Word, right? Uh, it does also have a compress option if the image is very large, uh, much larger than it needs to be for displaying within the document um, uh, as your final step after sizing it, etc. Uh, you can come back in and hit compress and that can save a lot of room on your disk and also make it easier to uh, share or email. Um, particularly if you have a lot of images uh, within a document, they can get remarkably large uh, and after compressing, um, much, much smaller, right? So uh, what we're after right now, though, is uh, tweaking the size. So we're going to go to the size tab and uh, right now, it's six and a half inches wide to fit within the margins. Let's shrink that down to three inches. And you'll see if I click now on the width, uh, that's the height that I've adjusted, uh, it will automatically adjust uh, to, you know, by ratio to what we've changed the height to. And that's because here we have lock aspect ratio selected under scale. Okay. If you uncheck that, then you can um, adjust these independently which will distort the image. Uh, rarely done, you, um, you know, you don't generally want to distort your images, but of course there's always exceptions. So um, let's click OK and see what happens here. So now we have our image, but uh, it's just in line with the text, right? The text isn't wrapping around it. Uh, it's just acting as if it's one other, uh, one more character within the sentence, right? Um, Sometimes you may want that, but um, generally speaking, uh, with you know a descriptive image within a body of text, uh, you wouldn't want it to wrap in this way. So let's go back in, say right click, click on picture, and now we're going to go to the layout tab. And here's where we have our wrapping style. So as I mentioned, it is currently in line with the text. Um, what we we're after here is to um, either have it square or tight, right? Now, square gives it a little bit of white space around it, which um, generally speaking, unless the image has its own, um, you know, border or what have you, uh, you want that extra room so that the letters aren't right up against the side, making it hard to read. But if you do want a tight wrap, you can always choose the tight option. There are a few other options here. One is behind the text, which is great for watermarks. Um, watch for readability there. Um, if there's too much uh, 
overlay and, and you, you may not be able to read your text and then of course in front of text which uh, generally speaking will of course make the text behind it unreadable um, but there are obviously times when uh, you want to do that on a poster or some other thing so let's go ahead and choose square as our wrapping style and um, this gives us some horizontal alignment options uh, we can have it the image to the left with the text wrapping to the right uh, we can center it we can have it to the right or uh, other which would be sort of custom to where your cursor happens to be right so but let's go ahead and choose the right hand side for the image and um, there are some advanced options here right um, you can tweak all of these little bits but let's leave those at their defaults for the moment um, and we will click OK and OK once again and here we now have our image nicely sized wrapped so that the text has a little bit of room for readability and um, on the right hand side with uh, everything uh, looking great so hopefully this has helped you to uh, format and insert images into Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.